hi guys welcome back to our channel and in today's video we are going to help you balance this equation where we have CaCO3 and HCl on the reactant side CaCl2 CO2 and H2O on the product side to balance this equation we first need to find out the number of atoms on both reactant and product side so for reactant side we have one calcium atom one carbon atom three oxygen atoms one hydrogen atom and one chlorine atom on the product side we have one calcium atom one carbon atom we have three that is two plus one three oxygen atom do not forget about this oxygen which is present in h2o count that we have two hydrogen atoms and we have two chlorine atoms so if you look at the number of atoms for both reactant and product side you will come to know that uh, it is all fine till oxygen as in there are the same number of atoms for calcium carbon and oxygen on both the sides but when we come to hydrogen and chlorine there is a difference so to fix it i'm just going to add a coefficient to on the reactant side and doing that we will have same number of hydrogen and chlorine atoms on the reactant side as well so now if you check we have same number of atoms on both the sides and hence this is the balanced equation so you just need to add a coefficient to and it's done I hope this video helps you to understand that for more such videos on Lewis structure, molecular geometry, polarity of the molecules, make sure to subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.